Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Rosa and this is Honestly Rosa. So it's been a little while. I've not filmed anything for a while and um, I didn't upload last week. I was just feeling really burnt out. I've been working 40 hour weeks at work, which is great for my bank account. Um, not so great for creating content. I've just felt very burnt out. But I thought I would do a little makeup um, because I have not done any makeup in a while. And my friend got me, my best friend got me some magnetic eyelashes. So I thought I'd give them a go because I've never tried them. I've never had fake eyelashes on and thought I'd have a little fun. It's a bit late in the day. I meant to film this yesterday or the day before. Didn't happen. <laughs> but we're gonna have a little bit of fun and a little catch up and um, just sort of catch you up on how I'm feeling. It is now 2021, as you probably know. Um, so yeah, let's start with, I'm gonna do go full out, I think. If I've got anything left. Where did I put it? I've got any left. Do I have any left? She says she's gonna do makeup, but ah, it's right there. So, 2021. Today is the 12th. It's a Tuesday, I think. I think it's the 12th. We'll go with that. Um, what am I gonna use to put on the? Was I using this? What is this? All over the place sorry um so yeah 2021 how are we feeling um i'm not gonna run through everything that went through good or bad that i've learned whatever through 2020 because um a some of it you've kind of ridden along with me and other bits i just rather not repeat um trying to look for positives and just take it as it comes i think i've run out um maybe if i cut it open More. I think this is like I don't know how many years out of date because I've already mentioned this before. I don't really do makeup very often. But let's have some fun. So um yeah, there's some in there. Um so I never really spoke about it. I'd, I guess I'm about to speak about it now. Um Those of you who know me personally will already know, and it's not really something that's been part of my um, social media presence, just because it's not been that relevant, but um, those of you already know I'm bi, um, I'm part of the <laughs> Alphabet Mafia as they say on TikTok, that's something I've been spending a lot of time on recently, and um, I've been in straight relationships for most of my relationship life I guess um but i don't know this year and it could it could be thanks to tiktok i sort of felt myself more drawn to be more out about it i don't know not that i've never not that i wasn't out you know what i mean like i'm guessing you know what i mean i just feel a bit more drawn to be open about it um I don't know where I'm going with that actually. I just, I guess what I mean to say is I'm feeling more and more like myself, more comfortable with myself. Um, like, I've just been sort of looking back on like past things and I'm like, well, yeah, duh, that made a lot of sense. Um, it's almost like a second coming out, I guess, but not at all dramatic or like, um, I don't know. And it was exciting, just kind of like I suddenly feel really calm in myself, which is interesting. So, yeah, that's how I've been feeling at the moment. Um, like I said, it's never been something that I've been lucky enough to not really have been affected by like any outward prejudice or anything. Well, most of the time, I look very, very straight. <laughs> so, most people are surprised when they find out. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's kind of a not really an update but like just how I'm feeling at the moment I've been feeling very burnt out as I already said content wise I think I love doing vlogmas and I know towards the end I kind of had to sort of like 
not do as much as I wanted to because I was just running out of energy and time and whatnot. Um, but I love doing it. I love doing um, Vlogmas. But obviously creating on a daily basis is quite tiring. So I kind of needed to take a little break from that. Um, to be fair, I've had quite a long break from actually creating videos because the last video I put up, I'd already filmed a while ago. Um, I'd filmed on Christmas, so um, it's been a good break. Obviously, like I don't, I don't do this as a job. I don't earn any money from creating content yet. I'd like to one day, maybe. <laughs> um, I, it's something I do for fun. I mean, also because I guess there's a social media kind of thing. Kind of growing your presence and whatnot but um i enjoy making videos is something i've always enjoyed doing which is why i'm so glad i started youtube because i i love making videos i always have um and having somewhere to share them is just so nice and it's lovely seeing the um reception that i get from making these and all you lovely lot who watch them um where was i going I don't know, I don't know where I was going with this. I think that's enough. Um, same with Instagram though, I felt a little bit burnt out with that, so I've not really been doing as much. Um, I was like posting daily like stories and posts and stuff. And then more recently I've gone a few days without posting at all and it's felt good. Um, Sorry, there's a kid outside making noise. I have been trying to start up my TikTok again. Um, but I don't know, it seems like a fickle algorithm. Like, I remember some videos doing quite well before and then, I don't know. Again, it's a bit fun. I spend way too much time on there just watching videos. Um, so that's what life's been like recently, watching a lot of TikTok. I've been working a lot as well, um, like I said, I'm like working 40 hour weeks, which is good. Um, it hasn't left me a lot of time to do my assignments and stuff. I mean, I've got one assignment that's due, was due, and then it got pushed back, which is great for me. Um, Oh, I've my, I picked up some eyeshadow palettes from Aldi. I got three, I may have gone a bit nuts. So I never have eyeshadow and I thought, well, why not? I saw these, they were like, they look really nice. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give them a go. What color should we go for? I don't think I've tried the smoky one yet. Should we do smoky? I don't know what color I'm going for. Why not? Let's do smoky. Um, so yeah, I've managed to, I picked up some uh, eyeshadow, some mascara. This mascara, only thing is it's not, it is waterproof, which I never used to use waterproof, like eye makeup, but it does stay on. This is like the best eye sh uh, mascara I've ever had, like literally. It's so good and it was so much cheaper than, I think I bought one, and it's cruelty free, but I bought one from a caramel wear and it was like really expensive and it was just shit. Um, and they had to do like eyebrow gel and stuff and so yeah. I really like that stuff. I literally just went into an Audi one day and gave it a go. So, what shall we do? Something very smoky, I think. Go with a bit of dark. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'll give it a go. Um, what was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. Ooh, this is very nice and dark. I don't know how high you're meant to go up. I have really hooded eyes, so most of the time you can't see what's on my lids. Um, and I don't know. Basically, I'm not great at makeup, but we're gonna give it a go because I like this cool looking stuff. A bit of glitter. Yeah, this is the, I don't know if you can see, this is the palette. Um, I think that looks quite cool. It's a bit, it's definitely smoky. Oh, I've got it everywhere. 
It's all right, we'll clean it up. Um, what was I actually saying? I got this from Aldi. Oh, I've got it all over my hands. It's a mess. It's a full on mess. Do I, I don't. I'm just making it worse now. Um. Um, I don't know what to do. Help. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've got one eye that's an absolute... Hang on. I think we'll keep it like that. Fuck it. I look like I've got a black eye, but... Ooh, actually. On the uni front, um, basically no one really knows what's going on. As um, those of you who are watching from England will know, we are in lockdown number three, and um, I've made another mess. Um, my uni has told me I'm not allowed to come back to campus. Originally it was before the, it wasn't, we weren't allowed to come back before January the 25th. And now it looks like it's not going to be to at least March. And apart from a gesture of goodwill, eight weeks rebate of rent, we're meant to pay our rent in our entirety for so eight. They want to give us eight weeks rebate when we haven't been there since. We haven't been there all of December, all of Jan we won't be there all of January or February, so that's three months. Tell me how that equates to three to eight weeks. And they tried to um, say like, oh yeah, it's gonna cost the uni five million. And I don't really get how, like, I'm just fuming. Um, luckily, my deadline was pushed back by 10 days, which is great. Um, but at the same time, all our, well, I already kind of knew my course was going to be completely online because they said at the beginning of the year, pretty much. Um, but I'm paying nine grand a year for online, barely their tuition, which I could have got on the open uni for a fraction of the price, but I didn't want to do that because I wanted to do proper uni. Proper uni, you know what I mean? I'm not dissing on open uni, I mean, I wanted to do the fuller uni experience. And I'm not getting it. And I'm going to be in debt to the tune of at least 60 grand because of all the loans as well. I've made a mess. How do I fix this? Uh, I need like a cloth or something. It's such a mess. I fucked it. I've really fucked it. I don't normally have wet wipes, but um, I've had some of something else. So I'm trying to clear this up a little. Oh, I fucked it this badly. That's better, I think. Right. Start again, shall we, with that bit? Um, so yeah, I am fuming because we are going to be in so much debt and we're expected to do the same amount of work, the same, um, same quality of work as the years before, which didn't have this. I think we are, we do have a safety net in 
in place which means that they'll take the best grade of this year rather than averaging out which is great they'll also take the best grade for our final year whether it's this year or next year again that's good for me we're still missing out on so much education so many hours of face-to-face -face contact and i'm not knocking the fact that they're obviously doing it for a reason like it's not that it's not the fact that we're having to have no contact is the fact that we're paying nine grand for this it should be reduced and the fact that the uni if you decide to take part in a rent strike will not give you the eight weeks rebate i don't know if this is looking any good so i am just very frustrated at the moment I do not, as we've already established, I do not do well when I have to do things uni-wise from home by myself. So I'm stuck in Kent right now at my mum's, which was only meant to be for Christmas. And if you know me well, you know that we don't always have the best relationship. Um, it's a bit tough. We're stuck in the same house together. Luckily I have a job, so that takes me out. But also, stops me focusing on my studies as much sorry i didn't mean to be so negative i'm just this is how i'm feeling right now which is a bit cheat honestly um what's the best way of getting like dark pigment out of brushes by the way because i feel like making it wet is going to make it worse but anyone know so yeah Very frustrated. Mm, what do we think? I feel like I could have done better. I try with the fingers, maybe that'll work. As you can see behind me, I have my pole. So I'm lucky enough that I've got this at home. So I can practice one of my skills. The only issue is I've been on it all at once because apparently I have zero motivation. Another fantastic product of lockdown is it does not make me want to do things. Um, let's go with a gel. Oh, where's the pencil? So they've got eyebrow pencil from Aldi. Uh, very tiny. I I did stock up on quite a few when I saw they did them and they sold out, it was just before Christmas to be fair, but they sold out pretty quick so I'm guessing, I don't know if they're going to bring them back or not, it was a very good find. So yeah, I did sign up to do the 30 days yoga with yoga with Adrienne like I've done for quite a few years, I didn't do it last year, well I tried to start it last year, I didn't didn't get into it last year I seemed to have lost my practice even before like corona and all that um I've done day one it is now day 12 and I've yet to catch up um I'm just not feeling very motivated also work hasn't helped because sometimes I've been working like 11 a.m to 11 p.m and my sleep pattern is completely messed up right now so I'm not getting to bed at the best of times and waking up very late. <laughs> All of these things I know I can fix myself, but you know, it's kind of hard when life doesn't really make you want to. I'm not sure. Alright, this is the gel. Um, like one of the reasons I'm also doing this is because I've got a few spicy <laughs> TikToks planned and um, I need makeup for that 
but I can't be asked to do my makeup multiple times, so I might as well do the video while I'm doing it. <laughs> Great content creator, I know. Okay, so we're done with that. Done with that. Don't need the eyeliner or the mascara because we're going to try the lashes today. Right. Should we give it a go? Ooh, scary. So you put the eyeliner on and then, so these are the lashes that came with it. There's some very extreme ones and some lighter ones. I'm going to try something a bit simple. There's a tool for putting them on with. A little rubber band. And which ones are the most natural looking? Top ones, I'm guessing. And some magnetic eyeliner. So they say to put it on when it's not quite dry. I don't know why. You'd think it being magnetic, you'd want to. Assuming you'd have to shake. Ooh, I'm scared. I might have to really concentrate for this. Ooh. Okay, so. Fuck. Um, <laughs> let's give this a go, shall we? Ah! Give it a go, shall we? Ooh, hang on. I don't know if I've done it right. Oh. Go on. Have I put enough on? Oh, maybe. Really tell. Feels pretty secure on that. Oh. Can't really tell I'm wearing them though, can you? Ow, it's poking me in the eye. It definitely feels like it's on there. Maybe if you try it, does it come back off easily? Ah! Why is it not coming off? Oh, it does. Hang on. Let's try a different set. Okay, that's pretty good. Maybe a little less. Let's do the other side while we're at it.
Ooh. Does that look cool? I can't tell. Does it look like I've got some kind of beast on my eye? That is the question. Ah! Finish this off. Yeah, some of these. but oh well thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to be notified every time i post and let me know in the comments what you thought if you ever tried these is there a way to make it look better i'm not convinced keep up the kindness my friends 